students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, i-discuss ko naman sa inyo kung paano makuha yung R o yung weight na tinatawag doon sa population growth. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So bago tayo mag-proceed sa population growth na yun, ano nga yung formula for the finding of the population growth? And that is A equals to P times E raised to RT. Na kung saan ay ang A is yung size ng population after it grows. Yung P naman is yung initial number of people. R is the rate of growth or ito yung naka percentage. And then T, ito yung time, days, years, or months. And then E, ito yung Miller's constant that is 2.718. So let's have an example. Direction. Substitute the given values in the formula A equals to P times E raised to RT to find the missing quantity. So, meron tayong given dito that is A equivalent to 786,000 and then P is equivalent to 247,000 and then T ito yung time which is 17 years at yung inaanap is yung rate or yung tinatawag niya R. Okay. So, to get the value of R, ano nga ulit yung formula ng exponential graph? That is A equals to P times E raised to RT. And then, it's a substitute lang natin yung given value doon sa formula na yun. So, A, ano yung A? That is 786,000. And then, P is equivalent to 247 times E raised to what? Ilan? That is 17 times R. So, ano na yung next na step? So, next is that, we bring down natin yung 247,000 all over doon sa kabilang 247. Para ang matila na lang ay E raised to 7 times T. Okay. So, i-cancel na natin yan, 247, i-cancel natin yan, and then, so, mag-iiwan na lang ay 786,000 all over sa so 247,000 equals to E raised to 17 R. And then, the next step is, i-divide natin yung 286,000 sa so 247,000, so, ang kukuha na natin is yung 4 decimal point, and that is equivalent to 3.1822. Okay, so 3.1822. 3.1822 equals to E raised to 17R. Then the next, ano na yung next na position? Since siya ay nasa logarithm function, so ito yung magiging step niya. And since ang base niya ay E, this is the logarithm to the base of E is equivalent to LN. So paano yan? To just copy 17R equals to yung E magiging LN. And then copy, that, that is E and then ln, then copy, 3.1822. So, paano ko nga? Yung 17R, ibababa lang siya, equals to yung E, magiging ln, and then copy the 3.1822. Then, sa calculator, meron kayong magkita dyan na ln. So, proceed tayo. So, sa calculator, may kita kayong ln dyan. So, ilalagay nyo lang yung value ng ln. That is, ln 3.1822, that is equivalent to 1.1576 So, ang natira na lang is 17R equals to 1.1576 So, para makuha yung R that is, divide natin both sides by 17 and that is, all over 17 divided by 17 magkakors out matitira na lang R and then, 1.1576 divided by 17 that is equivalent to 0 0.0681 So, ito na ba yung sagot? Since Ang hinahanap natin is yung A. So, yung given na decimal point is gagawin natin percentage. So, paano mag-convert ng decimal point sa the percentage? You just move the decimal places into 2 from left to right. And that is magiging rate equals to 6.81%. So, naintindihan nyo naman students. So, ganda lang siya kasimple. So, pag-share ng video ito para malaman din ng mga kaklase mo itong information na ito. So, that's all for it for now. Bye.